Hello, so carrying on from the theme of the beautiful lush goodies, I have decided to do a little kind of trial and test of the um, cup of coffee face mask. I have my cup of coffee with me here. Um, so I was just going to give it a go anyway and I thought why not film it so you guys can kind of have a little look how it works out as well. So first things first, let's have a little look. Oh, it still smells great. This is, again, I don't know how well you can see that, the sort of cup of coffee goodness. Um, I will read you the description of how to use it, which is apply generously to your skin and leave on for five to 10 minutes. Scrub off with warm water, making sure to massage into the skin. Pat yourself dry to reveal a gorgeous, brighter complexion. Excellent. I have taken all the makeup off of my face, apart from my eyes, um, which I have left on to be a little naughty, but also because otherwise, you can't see my eyes and it's slightly terrifying. I just have spectral orbs hanging around. I'm going to grab a nice generous scoop and get applying. Okay, here you go. Ooh. Ooh, it's quite like glutinous, if you can see that. That probably doesn't look that attractive. But I'm going to go, this is quite hard because I can't really see. I have got a mirror over there, but it's kind of... If I'm doing that, that's why I'm sorry, but... Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's sticky. Ooh, that's sticky. <laughs> Might step a little closer. Oh, not that close. Ooh, you can feel that lovely ground coffee in there. That was totally the worst time for my battery to die. Sick. So, as we were, you can kind of see where it's a little gloopy already. Um, and... What I was trying to say before my battery went, <laughs> no, um, was that it's got quite a cooling feeling when you're putting it on, which is lovely. It, does not, it doesn't need to live in the fridge like the other fresh face masks. It has a four month lifespan on it, which is nice, so you will get through the big tub. Mm. It smells so good. See, I'm not a huge fan of perk up massage bar that it kind of smells like, um, because of the smells other than the coffee, whereas this in the tub smells exactly like it on your skin you are getting more of that coffee smell so that is working perfectly for me that's what I want lovely it's going on a kind of I'm not sure what colour it's coming up on there but kind of greeny brown so a little bit kind of khaki camouflage so basically I just missed a great opportunity to do some war paint but next time I'm sure that's very exciting you know as I'm sure is generally just watching me rub khaki on my face. This is lovely. So you can already sort of feel the um, scrubby texture of the ground coffee. So much like a lot of the masks, it really kind of kicked into action when you are washing it off and kind of really giving that scrub. And that's where you get the sort of massage into the skin and all that lovely stuff. Let's not get it in my hair. Oh look, I got it in my hair. Fabulous. This must be thrilling. Oh, that's my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> okay. So, I believe that is all of my skin covered. My normal thing when I've got something on my face, I'm dying to itch it right now, but I will not because I am a gloopy, swamp monstery mess. Dashing. I'm going to give this the uh, 10 minutes. Might do 15 see how I'm going to little pamper for and then get to scrubbing it off. It's kind of got like a glaze to it, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can see that. A little glazy glaze going on. Got my Krispy Kreme face on. Um, so <laughs> we will see how that goes. It does have quite, yeah, a thicker texture than I thought. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It means it's not slopping off my face, which is always fabulous. I will give these a little wash, my little grubby mitts, and I'll see you in ten. Okay, so ten minutes have passed of my beautifying Capo Coffee treatment. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a massage wash off. Rub on, wash off. I'll also give you a little close up of how it's looking now. So Kind of the same, still a bit gloop spell. 
attractive. So I'm going to make sure that I get all that lovely sort of massage action going on the skin to really get the benefits of that ground coffee and plump up the skin like it's supposed to. So I'm going to give it a whirl. Here's me whirl. Okay. Ooh. Oh, the smell of the coffee is just so much stronger. I'm just scrubbing it off as well. Yummy. Oh, that is a good scrub. And I just put it in my mouth. Let's not eat the mask. Mm. Well, actually, second thought, not bad that. So, I think I have it all off. So, feeling nice and soft and very kind of exfoliated and gentle and like baby smooth um it does look did look a little rosier um it's probably quite hard to tell the blinding light in here um i'm not really noticing anything kind of plumper but then i have quite high big cheekies anyway um so it feels lovely Knowing that scrub, it is quite, it does take quite a while to get all that coffee off because it's got lots of tiny, tiny pieces that you could be finding for days. There's still some in my hair. Um, but it feels really lovely on the skin. There's no kind of um, odd feeling to it. And it's on your skin, some of them can feel a little tingly or that kind of thing. It's nothing unsettling. It's just really, really lovely. Um, the actual kind of base to it and everything other than like the coffee granules washes off really nice and easy it's just getting that coffee granule off but it's quite nice in that respect because it's giving you a really good kind of buffing so you are making sure you're getting that massage out of it so it's really um worth it uh really lovely stuff feeling all nice and smooth had some flaky bits earlier i don't have them anymore that's what more could you want do i look more radiant i'm sorry i'm quite liking that i We'll definitely reuse this fella so i'm glad i've bought the big pot i hope you guys all get to have a go with a cup of coffee soon it smells amazing it feels really really soft on the skin I'm just gonna say it's stroking my own face normal it was great i hope you guys enjoyed the little odd kind of review um but go grab yourselves a pot of the coffee and give it a good go